Teemo, the top laner's worst enemy, blinding you, spreading mushrooms, and laughing madly. But I have found a player who has taken this terror of a champion into bot lane to give them a taste of the poison. This is Manko, a challenger Teemo, who's now playing AD carry with over 70% win rate, with a new AD build to make Teemo into a full DPS carry marksman, as well as having the option to go AP and quickly outscale enemies. Teemo AD carry is here, and surprisingly he's very easy. Manko says this role is actually the most relaxing and simple he's ever played. Zero macro is required to play AD carry Teemo, simply just vibing, placing shrooms, and getting LP. This pick is shockingly hard to punish in lane, so he gets a free laning phase every time, even with some 2v2 kills. Then at level 6, with some special new bot lane shroom placements, he finds surprising kills every game on unsuspecting AD carries. Then by mid game, Teemo's everywhere, controlling fights, and providing the DPS his team needs to win them. But one OP thing that even our challenger player Manko recommends is our sponsor, Porofessor. Porofessor is an overlay app for League that gives you so much information without even having to tab out the game. During Champ Select, Porofessor automatically finds you the best runes, and you can even import pro players' runes straight to your client. Once the game starts, you get a ton of stats about your opponents, as well as a live stat tracker to compare your stats to other players in your rank to find you areas to improve. As well as my favourite, the Summoner Spell Tracker. It's so useful to be able to get an enemy's flash, click the overlay, and get an automatic timer that even includes cooldown reduction from runes and items. With the best builds imported right into your shop, never worry about building wrong again, and even off-meta builds from our videos are imported as well, so you can play Teemo AD Carry without even knowing the items, it's great. And they even added live spectating for high elo, so you can once again watch the best players in solo queue. It really has it all, download Porofessor from the link in the description, completely free, support the channel and help yourself. Back to Manko, a player you may recognise. A few years ago he hit Challenger with Teemo Jungle and we made a video together about it. Manko is a true dedicated Teemo fan, having played him since Season 3 after losing horribly to a Teemo mid lane. Ever since that day he was converted. After a period of toxicity and real life problems, by Season 9 he had a new positive mindset and healthier habits, using Teemo Jungle to hit Challenger for the first time. But the real reason he's playing Teemo AD Carry is actually born out of spite. He was sick of seeing his bot lanes go 0-10 every game, and even flame each other for it while he was stuck in top or jungle. The bot laners were meant to be working together, and yet they were so angry with each other. So he figured, how bad could it possibly be if he went to play AD Carry instead? His mental had always been good, Manko is known as a positive player, so as long as he didn't flame his support, surely his team would have a huge advantage. Teemo is labelled a marksman in game after all, and it turns out that for once an AD Carry player was right. He locked it in, played 120 games, keeping bot lane completely stable, never inting, and started to climb very easily. Because of Manko's consistency, his supports never minded what he was playing, and he's always had a good experience with them. But the best part about Teemo AD Carry is that he doesn't have to take big risks to win games. He outscales all AD Carries by mid game, and still scales very well into late game as a champion. On top of that, he hard counters things like Draven and Vayne, which many marksmen struggle with, and every other matchup he's happy with thanks to his blind. His early game is a neutral brick wall of a bot laner, and then at level 6 his shrooms come out to ruin AD Carry's days. It's one of the most chill strategies for climbing, and it all starts at level 1 with this bush. At level 1, Teemo AD Carry never wants to leash. He wants to fight for wave control to get level 2 first, so he gets to lane first, taking his E, and then starts auto attacking minions to apply the poison damage, trying to push faster. At level 2 he's stronger than most AD Carries, and he has a blind, so their strength doesn't really matter. Going for an auto attack Q trade, or an auto Q auto to proc press the attack, he deals damage and the enemy does nothing. This pick is special because it really takes advantage of how difficult it is to start good fights in bot lane. Teemo can farm and scale faster than the enemy AD carry, giving him an advantage, but Teemo can also fight and use his blind to win it, again giving him an advantage. So unless he makes a huge mistake and gets hooked or mispositions horribly, then there's no way for him to get behind. That's why this pick works so well. But remember, he's not opting into any big risks either. He knows how bad AD carries can be after a few deaths, so he doesn't need to risk taking part in these bad fights. Level 3 he takes his W and can now follow up on any support engage. He's happy to start fighting right away, just using his Q and auto attacks, it's very simple, ideally saving his Q for the end of the combo, as it has higher range than auto attacks and will still follow the enemy even if they flash. This is where his runes become vital. In good matchups he can play with aggressive runes like press the attack or airy, happy to look for these fights and go for kills. But some bot lane matchups are just terrible regardless of what champion you're playing, so in these he can take fleet footwork, getting free sustain by kiting in and out constantly to charge the rune up. In bad matchups he can also do this trick when pushed in, waiting for minions to arrive, he stealths under tower. This gives him 60% bonus attack speed for a full 5 seconds, making CSing so much easier, and Manko barely misses any. He 
keeps fighting at level 4 and 5, and as he's gone up in ranks, the support will also pick better fights, so it's actually just gotten easier and easier as he climbs. If he does have a scaling support like a Senna or an Enchanter, then they're free to not fight and scale up as well with very little risk. But here is where his summoners come in. This pick is super flexible, able to even take Flash Ignite on AD Carry. This is because, as a Teemo expert, he's the one who knows his damage the best, so he'll be the most reliable one to set up these kills and use the Ignite at the right time. His support doesn't have to know how to play with Teemo AD Carry, so it's a great way of fitting an off-meta pick into a team. In the super hard matchups like against Season 14 champions, he takes Teleport to nullify their advantage, even able to pair this with Doran Shield first item to make Teemo even harder to punish. Any time he's poked out he can base and teleport back to catch the full wave and get some free time alone to farm. He doesn't hard push here as Teemo doesn't have the wave clear yet, so he slow pushes to make sure it doesn't end up in a terrible position. And thanks to this safe play, the Season 14 champion pushes in and gives Teemo a chance to get a 2v2 kill. It's always satisfying to see Smolder die whatever the circumstances, but it shows that even an old champion like Teemo can handle them by making these smart adaptations. He can also take Exhaust if his support has Ignite, great against engaged champions, even Ghost Flash if he wants more mobility. But level 6 is where Teemo AD Carry becomes better than a normal AD Carry. This is all because of how this player uses mushrooms. It is as simple as putting one mushroom in a bush and baiting enemies to fight around it. If the mushroom hits, that's one kill, if not two. That's all he has to do. If he wants to play aggressive, he can push the wave, put the shrooms in bushes further up in the lane, and then get ready for a big trade or all in when enemies walk over them. If he's playing passive, like he's losing lane or a support is roaming, he can put a mushroom down by the wall, go in stealth, and when enemies walk up for the wave, they're never going to expect getting slowed and being 1v1'd by the Teemo, ideally stacking a second shroom to extend the slow. This works in top lane even against challenger players, so AD carries will never expect it due to lack of experience. He can even do this right next to the enemy tower. It's a very versatile play that works anywhere, since the main benefit is giving Teemo the 60% extra attack speed. This increases his damage by so much. Any fight he takes is like having 5 extra daggers in his inventory. That's 1,500 gold worth of extra stats. So you can see why this play is so strong. Mid game starts a bit later for Teemo compared to lots of AD carries. He spends a lot of extra time in bot lane going for 2v2 fights before the turret dies, as Teemo doesn't snowball quite as fast as lots of champions do. All he's getting is a ton of extra damage. When bot lane tower does die, AD carries should pretty much always go mid lane, so Teemo does the same, farming as much as possible, ready for any team fight. Manko thinks AD carry is by far the easiest role for macro decisions, because you should always be allowed to just farm mid, sitting scaling for as long as you want. He can join any fight he wants from here, but it doesn't mean that he does. Some fights are still bad fights, and as he's an AD carry, he may notice a fight is bad and focus on farming instead, as if he joined it would only put his team further behind. At this point, suddenly AP Teemo is very strong, buying Nashes, making his auto attacks deal enough damage to be a quite good DPS champion in these early fights, avoiding the early game damage problem that most AD carries do have. But when he gets to two items, that's when he's super powerful, able to take any fight he wants, buying Malignants on AP, and Kraken Slayer into Terminus on AD. Terminus is really nice for Teemo, Manko loves it as it gives him not only great damage, but the resistances to turn him from a squishy AD carry into a real champion that can get hit and still survive. But on top of that, it has armor pen and magic pen, so all of his hybrid damage gets buffed. Getting these two items is his only goal, and funnily, at this point, even if his team is behind, Manko doesn't care, he's only thinking about this goal, nothing else matters to him. There are games where his team is thousands of gold behind, but Manko keeps CSing and reaches this point, finding a kill, and suddenly the enemy team are just spamming surrender votes. People just cannot handle losing to an AD carry Teemo, especially when he isn't even doing anything that impressive. He's just doing his job and never tilting. Meanwhile enemies have to outplay him, clear mushrooms, and dive him every fight, to even have a chance of winning. It's such a contrast from his stream where he's smiling and chilling every game, to the enemy AD carry who must be wanting to uninstall. To be clear, being behind is never a good thing in League, but when a Teemo AD carry is behind, it's not even that bad. This is because he can place mushrooms all over his team's jungle, so when enemies make the correct decision and try to push their lead, they have to do it absolutely flawlessly, as if they miss even one mushroom, that can lead to a collapse, a bad team fight, and suddenly Teemo just aced your whole team. There's no time in solo queue to communicate this is a bad fight, so Teemo takes advantage of this by tricking enemies into helping each other, thinking it's winnable since they're ahead, and especially if they're already tilted, this works wonders. Manko's next goal is 3 items, CSing as much as possible. His biggest tip for this stage of the game is just to put a mushroom down somewhere and go stealth. Again, this is so simple, but it's one of the easiest ways to get a pick and turn that pick into an objective and winning the game. He doesn't have that much else to do, his only job is to keep mid prio and join every team fight. Just like all AD carries, this is probably the hardest point of the game, where true
true skill shines through. But luckily Teemo isn't quite as bad. Sure he's still hard, he has no dashes and not the longest range. That is, except for his mushrooms. Manko's able to control fights with these regardless of where he's standing at the time. One well placed mushroom can be the difference between a won and lost fight. Even the slow alone can set up multiple kills, or guarantee an objective is killed before the enemies can get there, so he saves two mushrooms for every team fight, as there's a high chance they're going to be really impactful. Using these as well as good, safe positioning, he stays back, spreading mushrooms as a protective barrier. Playing team fights front to back, he shreds the enemy front line while avoiding the enemy's burst damage, just like any AD carry. To rate this pick, Manko has given us a matchup tier list. Teemo hard counters Vayne, Draven, Cogmore, and any other auto attacker. He's great against scaling AD carries, as he can outpace them, and also great against tank engage supports, especially things like Leona and Alistar since he can blind their point and click stuns. Manko's value to the team is really not just Teemo, but his mindset when he's playing it. If you play Teemo AD carry like an aggressive Samira who goes in, dies a lot and flames others, then Teemo AD carry is going to be awful. But if you're like Manko and realise that AD carry is a vital role in the team, which requires a stable head, then Teemo allows him to hold the lane as well as if not better than any other marksman, scaling into late game as a very strong, capable and honestly simple carry. His favourite thing to ban is whatever support is OP at the time, right now he likes Senna. Caitlyn is also another good ban, as she really outranges Teemo. The best champions to go with Teemo are enchanters or poke damage, as they stabilise the lane for him. Engage supports are good as well, but Teemo can struggle to follow up their engages. For the full AP build, starting Doran's ring in good matchups or Doran's shield against harder ones, Sorcerer Shoe's first item for the mobility, then his two item goal, adding Leantries, and then situational last items. He says that basically all AP items are viable and strong on Teemo in Season 14. With this build, he maxes Q first against squishy champions with no shield, otherwise Emax is a good default. For the AP build, he takes press the attack most often for the extra damage, as well as the percentage damage great against tanks and tank supports, otherwise fleet footwork is his default. But you can experiment with airy and even dark harvest. But for the AD build, everything's different. Still starting Doran's ring or Doran's shield, as they're the strongest first items on Teemo, then going Kraken Slayer into Terminus, then wanting attack speed so he can go Blade of the Ruin King, or if his team already has good AD, he can go Rageblade or Wit's End. From there he goes a bit tankier, Riftmaker, Zonyas, even Jack Show, giving him some armour and magic resist. With this build he always maxes E first into W, since the Q has a lot less value. His runes with this build are much simpler, press the attack against tankier teams and fleet every other game. Manko is a consistent streamer on Twitch and uploads daily on YouTube, so please check him out at the links in the description. You won't find a more positive streamer who just has fun playing his favourite champion. Thanks as well to Porofessor for sponsoring this video, link to check out their amazing League companion app is in the description. Thanks so much for watching.